All right, Joel. I took the quest from you. I went and did the generators. The, the, the zombies didn't spawn. No more bad quests, sir. Anyways, what is going on my fellow survivors, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die No Skill Points Challenge. We are currently on the morning of day 14 at 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, I've taken a quest from Mr. Joel for a Restore the Power quest last night over at a Tier 4 stand tower. That place is like a funhouse. Got lost, found the generators, turned them on, went through the whole thing about two or three times, and that's why we're here at 9 o'clock in the morning. But it ended up being one of the bugged POIs where not all the zombies spawned in. So instead of wasting an entire day, I simply said, screw it, came back, and accepted another job. It was a fetch clear, so we're going to go and do that for him real quick. And then we are going to pop back in to the base where I have done some upgrades, made some additional benches. Uh, I did find enough Forged Ahead magazines since the last episode in order to craft our chemistry station. So I am currently working the Forged Iron over there in order, or at the base in order to craft the chem station. Now the quest I accepted from him was a fetch clear at the mortician's house which I do believe we've actually hit this one before. Yeah, we've hit this one before. Uh, I do have a couple of handgun magazines, and one of the quest rewards that I did get from the quest prior to the Restore the Power was a Tier 5 Ratchet, which is extremely nice, because it makes breaking things down a bit faster, though the no skill points is becoming brutally more obvious as far as stamina usage. Oh, we got a cop up here with us. Did not want him blowing up on us. Drop it down in here. What do we got? Lead. Um, sir, this isn't yoga class. That that position just does not look very. Mm. Did you come to help him? I think he needs help. No. Just gonna, gonna go sleep on the job. Got you. Let's try to be a little bit quieter about this. Hitting me. I'm so rude. Vehicle adventures. Oh, look, I'm a flashlight mod. Now I can actually balance back out my brightness. Though I think that requires a flashlight in order to make the helmet mod. I'm not for certain. And as you guys can tell, I did end up crafting my AK 47. And that was on day 13, where I spent majority of the day just doing the base upgrade getting the workstations and various weapons made and doing a couple of quests one being that glitched night quest that I was referring to and am not very happy about because it was a tier 4 and I would have loved the quest reward from it and as you can tell up on my compass to the northeast I did find a treasure map I have yet to go retrieve it that is a lot of people You, you can just stay in the wardrobe, sir. It is pretty. Ah! 
Set back down. No one asked you to get up. I know that hurt. Legs crossed and everything. Not dead until I see the XP or a bag. Sounds like I woke up a whole lot of people. Oh, just two. No? Oh, that's where we came in at. Interesting. What's in here? Well then. I feel almost like I'm going in a circle. Because I am going in a circle. Is that people coming upstairs? Go breaking things over there? What are you doing? Oh no, you're trying to come in the front door. Here's Johnny! Yep. Surprise! Daddy butt. Stab in the face. Garage? Hello? Oh, hello, big mama. There's my satchel. Boy, you fixed. Yes, downstairs. I do believe we missed this last time when we were here. We did not come downstairs. Um, why is someone breaking in stuff behind me? It's so rude. Chance of acid. More acid. Can I see a feral radiated? We gotta talk to Trader. That is 100% a crawler somewhere. I just don't know where. You know, he can continue to beat on whatever he's beating on. We got things to be doing, like getting our nice loots. Oh, we got so much stuff. Um, to care for sledges. Savage Country, working stiff, and mo power. Savage Country is kind of a grab bag of whatever. Fuck me, it was a bow hunters. Working stiff. Got to forge the head with a tier six. Go ahead and get rid of the sand. No power. Anything from wiring, electrical trap, vehicle adventures. Kind of a grab bag. Sounds like someone's getting kind of close to us, but all right, let's see. Here. That's going to do 77? No, 87. Versus a lot more. Unfortunately, I don't have any lock picks. So this is going to take a minute. There, we got it. Ah, uh, stretch brace mod. We'll take that. We'll take that. Scrap that. Take that. Love the shotgun shells. Uh, we're actually going to scrap that. Take that. Move that down there. And take our gold nuggets. All right. Now, we are going to go back to Trader Joel. Turn in the non-broken quest. 
collect our reward. Well, you shouldn't put a hatch there if it's just make me dig my way out. That was rude. You guys know I'm like not the fittest person in the world here. Come on. Collect our loot bag from this guy. Ooh, shotgun shells, herbal antibiotics. I'll eat that. Read that. And take those. Where is my mini bike? Mini bike is this way. Alright, so I'm going to zip back over to Trader Joel's. Head back to the base in preparation for Horde Night. I've got to get Wisteria in for that captivating side shot of the Horde running at me. Nothing better than watching zombies get blown to bits. Alright, we are approaching Trader Joel's on foot because I literally just ran out of gas in the middle of the road. That makes for fun time, so I dumped some stuff into the mini bike just so I could get down here, turn the quest in, and sell him some stuff. Howdy, Joel, and thank you for you not giving me a broken quest. Oh, that right there. Yes. That is a heck of an upgrade for me, Tier 5 Primitive Bow. That is the best possible bow in the game off of a Tier 4 quest. As much as I would love the Crafting Skill Magazine bundle, I already know I can get plenty, plenty more of those. So, may I see your inventory, sir? You got armored up, wiring, electrical traps. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with some gas first off. Let's go with 2,000 gas, because I have yet to make it out to the desert. Uh, uh, let's go and go ahead and get a couple of pipe bombs. Do I need anything else from you, sir? You've got some interesting stuff today. Got some HP ammo. I think we're okay on ammo. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably going to kick myself when I get back to base. Uh... It looks like you just got a bunch of junk. Ooh, that was a nice little, uh, nope, not worth it. Um, there's no sale price on that, which is fine. I hear you, I hear you. I'm shopping. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these three armored ups. All right, it is now time to get back to the mini bike, get back to base, get ourselves prepared for the upcoming horde. All right, so we are back. You can see the double doors down there. Everything up here is concrete. Got another door right there. Escape route right there. But we are 15 minutes to Horde Night. It is time to lock and load. We are sitting pretty decent on ammunition as far as the 9 mils and 7.62 go. We've got... About 90 rounds of shotgun shells. But what fun would it be if I don't light some people on fire tonight? It's time for you to die. Not a good idea.
quit lighting myself on fire. feel the no skill button.
is absolutely insane. Now, it almost sounds like they're literally directly below me. Took an absolute beating. Got a little straggler coming in. Ooh. We are gonna have to crash in a third amount of ammunition get our hands on as much as possible because i went through 90 rounds of shotgun ammo i went through almost a thousand uh 700 rounds of 7.62 and falling back on the nine mil was an option but that would have sucked Yeah, that was almost to half health. Let's go ahead and pick up all this beautiful, beautiful loot. And I will definitely have to remember to bring water with me if I plan on using Molotov cocktails again, because I just lit myself on fire. Just about as much as I lit the zombies on fire. I see a couple bags down here in the elevator shaft that I want, so we are going to get them. Yep, they went on rampage mode down here. As you can see, they started breaking stuff out down here. Mad because they couldn't get to me. Not a bad little haul for a horde night. But with that, guys, I'm going to call it an episode for today. We will pick it up in the next one, probably doing some more quests for Trader Joel, as well as doing some additional freestyles, because I really, really, really want to get six more vehicle adventure magazines in order to unlock the motorcycle. But, uh, once again, I'm going to call that an episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.